Satnam, welcome back, day 33. Today we're doing a Korea code stress set for adrenals and kidneys. So we'll be working on our stress levels and balancing that out, as well as flushing out toxins from the kidney. It's a dynamic Korea, there is not much resting in between, and most of the exercises are pretty intense. So if at any point you feel that you feel dizzy or you need to take a rest, Please do so and then join us again. Let's rub the hands together. Place them in the sternum. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale to begin. Om Namo the breath in and exhale so the first one as we're sitting we're gonna do a moving lotus so we're gonna be inhaling hitting the base of the wrists and the palms and the thumbs together and we create this beautiful flower right in front of our chest and then we're gonna exhale and push to the side so it's we're gonna do that rather vigorously. So let's begin. Keep the rhythm, keep going. Push to the side. And exhale and forward. Inhale here, hold the breath in. Exhale, relax the hand. Now bring the hands in front of you. We're going to interlace the pinkies only. We create this lock. All the others are going to be in the pads of the palms and the thumbs are going to point forward. We're going to place this in front of the chest and we're going to pull so there is a tension in the pinkies. So here we're going to do breath of fire while pulling away both hands. Bump the navel. Exercise works on the one side of the adrenals.
Now inhale and pull and really pull the pinkies as if you're trying to separate them. Exhale, relax. Place the hands in Yamudra on the knees. We're gonna create an O shape with the mouth. And from here we're gonna breathe in and out through the mouth with a breath of fire. This works on the other side of the adrenals. Inhale, hold the breath, exhale, relax, and now we're going to place our left hand behind, hugging the, the back, so palm is on the back, the right hand is going to be in front 60 degrees so the palm is bent the elbow is straight we're gonna gaze at the fingers keep them together and we're gonna begin the mantra har h-a-r the r is on the tongue so the tongue hits the upper palate har, har, har. and exhale well done go within moving on we're gonna come into a lotus pose so if this is too much for you you can just sit in easy pose or stretch the legs in front and do the same so from here either we do on the fingers or on the fists fist is usually easier also if you have blocks you can put two blocks on the side that will give you a bit more support to lift up and we're going to do body drops
relax. <sighs> this adjusts the entire nervous system. It's a very nice exercise. Although a bit hard, but it's really effective. And we move on. So remember, there's not much resting here. We're building up the energy, building up the sweat, so that we can throw it all out. And also pressurizing the adrenals to release tension. So next one, we move. Come back into easy pose, whatever suitable for you. The right hand and the palm is gonna come in the solar plexus now. Not up, on the solar plexus. The right hand is gonna come at that part where the wrist kind of forms this angle here, the bone, and it's gonna press. So it's like a natural place for both to meet. And we're gonna press the right, and we're gonna press the left into the sternum. And we're gonna keep this pressure, breathing long and deep. press at the base of the left with the base of the right right into the sternum start sweating no stopping let's begin so we're gonna stretch our legs in front turn them towards turn the toes towards you that locks you because we're gonna usually travel around the mat that pr protects that motion the hands the part so the fingers go into the palms into the base of the palms. The thumb is stretched up. We're gonna place them right in front and we're gonna be inhaling and exhaling. Try not to have the hands to fall down. We are keeping them as much as we can parallel to the ground. Inhale, hold, exhale. Now quickly come down, lying on the back, bring the heels towards the buttock, as close as it can get, and then bringing, holding onto the ankles if you can. If this is too much, hold onto the ground. So whichever one is better for you. And we're gonna begin lifting the buttock up and down.
inhale up, squeeze the mula bandha root lock, squeeze and hold. Exhale. Oh, come up, stand. Sorry, come on to your all fours. No resting, remember? Arms are parallel to the ground and they're underneath the shoulder. The knees are hip width apart. And we're gonna do a modified cat cow. So stretch up and bring the knee to nose. Stretch up and arch. Knee to nose. Rebalance and continue. The other leg. Adjust the pelvis and the lower back. It's a beautiful exercise. child one or two deep breaths here now bring the palms together interlace the fingers bring the thumbs pointing up and from here we're going to do a movement which is very subtle but works exactly at the kidneys. So we're gonna lift up and slide, glide forward, chin up and back. So we're hovering over our thumbs, looking as far up as we can. Inhale forward, exhale back. Wow, you should start feeling it right into the back. So it's like a small thing, but it's actually a really deep cleanser if you do it right. So target that feeling of noticing that the back is under pressure, just in the area of the kidneys. Simulates a lot of heat into the body. come on your backs again Whew, it's not easy bring the knees to the chest we're gonna start rocking back and forth massaging the spine Inhale, 
exhale and let's relax in Shavasana it's important after such a strong cleansing set and we allow the body to readjust and allow for the changes to take place letting the body go letting the mind relax everything feels heavy into the earth relaxing toes and fingers relaxing ankles and shins relax your knees and your thighs relax the pelvis and the tummy relax the chest and the shoulders relax relax the arms the wrists and the fingers and inhale and come back to the body gently wriggling toes and fingers circling wrists and ankles stretch walk the head away from the feet and hug the knees to the chest wriggle left and right Rub your feet and your palms and let's come up. Let's rub the hands together. Place them at the sternum and let's tune out. So Satnam, brilliant job, very heavy Kriya, it's one of the traditional Kriyas that Yogi Ji would give in our modern society to cleanse and rebalance the body, so take it with care, rest a little if you need to, again drink plenty of water and make sure you sleep, so I hope you have a great day and I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Sat